Welcome to my office. Do you wanna know what the one skill is that experts are saying is going to be recession proof? Actually, not only are they saying it's going to be recession proof, but they are actually saying that 97 new million jobs of this are going to be created between now and 2025. What is it, you ask? How do we obtain it, you ask? We are going to get into that in this video. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be covering the top skills to learn for 2023. What is most in demand? Where should you focus your learnings? This is a question as a software developer, as a person in developer relations, a tech creator that I'm always trying to keep up with the latest tech trends. Where should I put my learnings, my time? Because if you are learning something new, you want it to be relevant. You want it to be something that is actually going to be in demand. And that is what we're going to uncover today. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. And let's get into it. Woo! That was very slow. So Tiff, you ask, what is this one magical skill, one area that you need to focus on? Well, my friend, it is the one area that is taking over a lot of jobs that rather than fighting it, be on its team, which is artificial intelligence. There are so many job openings coming up for artificial intelligence. Actually, the World Economic Forum, I have it on screen here, the World Economic Forum Future of Jobs Reports predicts that 97 new AI jobs will be created between now and 2025. And they also say salaries are rising accordingly. Those well-trained and experienced can command average salaries of around 150,000 US. So that's a great starting salary. That's a great salary to transition into for this area. Now, the next question is, well, AI is a pretty broad topic. What area should you focus on? And this is the really exciting part because I think there are so many areas within AI that you can focus on that I wouldn't necessarily switch your skill set at this moment, but what I would do is, if you are a programmer focusing on taking some programming courses related to AI, if you are, say, a marketer, focus on taking marketing courses towards AI or taking some courses to understand AI. Rather than completely doing a 180, you don't have to because AI in itself, there are so many different spots and opportunities that will come up that maintain what you are passionate about and interested about, and then just kind of shift into the sector of AI. Here are some really great courses from if you are a programmer, a technical person, or maybe you want more of the AI soft skills that you can pick up. Okay, I have up on screen here, IBM Applied AI Professional Certificate. I think I'm gonna take this course um, for the reason of, I'm not an AI expert by any means. I'm just learning about it as many of us are. And it's something that I think will be a really great course. It's, you know, beginner level, no prior experience is necessary. And it also goes into a bit technical skills, but a bit more soft skills. And you also receive a digital badge, which is really great for the resume. So if you see in up to six months that I have a certificate on my LinkedIn, that is because I took this course. So this is a great course, I think, to dive in and really show that you are interested in AI and building skills around it. Another one that is really popular is one that is offered by Udemy, which is AI A to Z, learn how to build an AI. And this is a great course. It's very accessible. If you're going on this link right now, they're all linked down below, by the way. If you're clicking on this link, it probably says a really expensive number. For me, it says 120 right now, but that really, honestly, just wait till there's a sale and you can get it for under 10 bucks. Like, do not purchase it at this price. I love you, Udemy, but you have some really good sales and you just gotta wait for the sales. And this will be really interesting. You can build an AI, uh, make AI to the beat of games. Like there's so much you can do. It's 17 hours, you get a certificate on completion. And this I think will be the second course I'm taking. So this is another great opportunity. If you literally just Google AI courses, so much comes up. So rather, it's not an issue of, are there enough courses? It's an issue of what course is good. And I always look for, what are really popular courses? What are courses that are recommended by professionals? And these two are two of them. And these two, these two are two of the best courses. Next up is anything to do with augmented reality. This is such a growing area of tech and our world as well. And uh, AR is becoming extremely popular and understanding AR and what it's all about and being able to build it. Those are skills that are going to continue to be very in demand. Now Coursera offers by actually Google a course called Augmented Reality and AR Core. And this has literally, I mean, 
Recent, re recent views on this is 42,000. It's extraordinarily popular. It's about 11 hours to complete. So this is something that you could commit to even for a hardcore weekend if you wanted. And you really get to start from the basics of understanding what AR is all about and working your way up to understanding how to create and use AR, uh, build an AR experience, use a technology AR core, and all around it's a really great course. Another great AR one. I promise you we're gonna get to other platforms other than Udemy and Coursera, but they offer some of the top courses in my opinion. And so you can build with this one, 15 augmented reality apps with Unity. And actually it's on sale right now. Maybe it won't be by the time you're watching this, but right now it is. So stay tuned for the sale. This is a great way if you wanna get really hands-on with uh, augmented reality. And the other thing is you get a certificate. As I mentioned, I'm linking all these down below so you can go check them out. Okay, next on the list, I have to list this one because for when I listed for top jobs in demand for the future, which is another video I recently posted, I didn't put on their cloud computing jobs. And I got so many questions from you. Is this intentional, Tiff? Should I be learning cloud computing? Yes, cloud computing is so in demand. I mean, at the end of the day, there is only so many only so many slots that I can add in for the videos for jobs I'm speaking about. And it didn't make the top five that I listed, for example, but it is so in demand and skills for cloud computing are going to continue. Actually, I'm stretching my legs right now, but let me get back to my computer. So I'm doing a little office tour. This isn't my office, just for the record. It's just a co-working space. But let me see here because on screen, I have some stats. You know me, I like a good stat. So here we go. Uh, cloud skills with Microsoft Azure cloud deployments expanding by 33% year over year and other cloud platforms growing. There is no shortage of demand for cloud skills. It's going to continue to go into more demand. And you know, it's interesting. I, for a long time, thought cloud would be the way I'd want to grow my career. And recently though, maybe it's because of all the hype, but I've really been leaning towards AI. And I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna dive into the AI direction. It just is, I just see it as the future. But cloud is extremely important as well, and it's not going anywhere. So let's dive into some courses to take around cloud. Anything, when you think cloud, a lot of times we go to AWS, or I do anyways. And uh, any kind of course that is related to cloud computing with AWS, maybe you take some AWS courses, is a great way to go and get certified. If you wanna kind of dive into, have some prereqs before you dive into that even, courses on Udemy, such as this one here, Introduction to Cloud Computing is a great way to go. It really teaches you the basics, the foundation, and then you can work your way up. There is no shortage of cloud computing courses, and I think it really you really need to narrow in on where you want to focus in the cloud. Do you want to focus more on the DevOps area? Do you want to focus more on the marketing? Similar to all these types of areas, there are so many opportunities within them that you really need to find what you are passionate about and then structure courses around that. I'm not going to recommend you know, 10 different cloud computing courses that are focused on programming. If you aren't into programming, maybe you have stronger skills in other areas. So rather than that, search up courses that you are really intrigued by, that offer certification, and that match with your skill sets you already have or want to grow. Next on the list is data analytics. And I have on screen here, let me pull it up for you actually some stats around this. So data science positions are expected to grow by 28% by 2026. That's a huge, I mean, for all the jobs and skills that you hear are going this way that AI is taking over, data science is not necessarily one of them. And salaries range between 125,000 to 150,000 and up, up, up kind of thing. Up, 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 sounds kind of weird. You get what I mean. And there are so many courses online for both data science and data analytics. And what I'd like to do if you want to focus in on one of those areas is because its skill is so in demand, all the top companies offer courses that you can get certified in in their area of data analytics or science. And I'm gonna pull up on screen here. I found one that Microsoft offers, and this is for data analysts. So not data scientists, but data analysts. And it's an associate level certificate. So if you are just starting out, I believe it's around $165, so it's not free, but it will provide you with a very credible certification that you can add to your resume. And it teaches you from the ground up. This is a certification that employers will take very seriously that you have this. I'll link it down below. And if you are not interested in maybe the Microsoft path, there are so many others. All you need to do is type in 
say Amazon, Amazon, I can't speak today, Amazon data analyst or whatever the company is. And most of them actually offer certifications. So just do a little research on that. And then if you are targeting a specific level company or anything like that, you can focus that way. Now, if you're not focusing on a specific company or getting with a specific company, any of these certifications are still very valuable and will be recognized by other companies. So there is no right or wrong way to go really. The last on the list is smart contract developer. This is an area that is so in demand and going to continue. And I know we think of crypto a lot of times with a bad taste in our mouths or for many people because of what's going on in the news, because of everything. But the technology around blockchain, I'm not talking about cryptocurrencies, I'm talking about blockchain, is here to stay. It's something that more companies are continuing to implement and having developers or people with the skills to build smart contracts is so powerful. Now, if you are watching this and you are not a developer and you're not looking to become a developer, it doesn't mean that you can write off smart contracts. What I would do is focus on blockchain as a whole and getting certifications around understanding the technology, the business side of it. And if you are a programmer or a developer, focus on understanding how to build these smart contracts. They're actually really simple to build. I mean, they get more complex as the contract gets more complex, but I used a lot build space when I was first learning about smart contracts and it broke it down so well for me. Uh, it was very friendly. I will add it on screen here and link it below because they have really great paths, not only to build smart contracts, but NFTs, um, a range of other things and they have a huge community on Discord too. So I really, I started out when I was learning blockchain doing that in build space, but there are a ton of other great courses for smart contracts. Okay, and on screen here, I have Ethereum and Solidity. Solidity is a programming language that is used to build these smart contracts and it's super user-friendly. I was, I feel like these things are so intimidating to people until they dive into it and you realize, wow, this is actually pretty user-friendly, like pretty developer-friendly. Uh, it it's just seems more intimidating than it actually is. So I'll link this course down below. This is another great course to understand why the why behind we would even want to use Ethereum and why we'd want to use Solidity and make smart contracts and all of that. And it really builds up your knowledge uh, from the base up. And then also to how to build smart contracts and it gets into the more technical side of things. I don't know if you can hear that, but there is a leaf blower outside. It must mean that it's close to the end of the video here. Okay, leaf blower is gone. Probably will come back in about two seconds here. So I'm gonna end this video here. I linked all these courses down below. These are just courses that I started researching. I've either taken some of them or want to, especially the AI ones, and just heard really great things about. I'm curious to know though, what area of expertise are you going to focus on building your skill set in in 2023? Leave down below in the comments. Let's see if there's a trend here. For me, it's AI, and I'll share with you my journey into AI throughout the year. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech coding and career related videos. Give this video a thumbs up. It really supports me. I love making content for you all and I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone.